Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry for no videos the past couple days, but we're back. Uh, I was busy with school stuff, and I managed to climb back to Masters, so we could do some Masters like games again, and we could do some uh, some more cool fun decks. Uh, this is not the deck I used to climb to Masters. It was Misfortune, Gangplank, Aggro. But I've, I've spent too long playing that deck, so I don't wanna I don't wanna play that deck anymore. Maybe I'll make a video on it one day. But uh, yeah, today we're gonna be playing Gangplank Sejuani, and uh, it's a fairly common deck. Mm. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using all these tools to plunder and level up Gangplank and Sejuani as fast as possible. So. Um, we got Jagged Butcher as a solid 1 drop, Crawling Cutthroat is pretty much a free plunder trigger on like a couple turns except against elusive decks, and for the opponent of, uh, opponent's turns, we can trigger their level up with Warning Shot, Parlay, Make It Rain, um, Monkey Idol, and even the sneak card Monkey Business is great. You don't even use it for the plunder effect a lot of the time, you just use it to um, trigger plunder by summoning a Powder Monkey, which is really good. And we even have uh, one of the new cards, Jack the Winner. I think this card is really good, especially in this deck, because for some reason, uh, you don't have your Gangplank level or something. Your Gangplank Ascension level yet. Sleep with the Fishes gives a, a Plunder Trigger. And it also synergizes well with the Kegs. Yeah, the, it, it synergizes really well with the Kegs. Because you can use it on top of the Keg, and you'll deal 3 to your opponent's Nexus. And of course, it's Sejuani's. Sejuani's uh, level up effect as well if you have to do that. And then we have Riptide Rex because uh, we have basically 6 warring shots in the deck. Uh, it's really easy to trigger plunders and this is like one of the best payouts for plundering. So yeah. Um, usually if you get Gangplank Sedge leveled on board it's pretty game. It's not game yet for some reason you vex them. Yeah. Um, as you can see, this is a very consistent deck. Uh, we get allegiance quite a lot because we only have three failure cards being the Sejuani's. Um, yeah, so we have everything except one Jack the winner. Overall, very consistent. Let's get into the game. Okay, so up against. Some weird shit. Uh, we're just gonna keep the warning shot to get a ping. Sedge in hand. Yeah, I don't really want Drifter. I kind of want some units. There we go. Holy shit, we have the amazing turn one thing. There's plenty of killing left. I don't know why Ionia is in this deck. It's it's like strange, it's so strange. I I I just straight up don't know what it's like. Okay. Okay, this is like a really good start actually. Because now we can monkey business, and then we don't have to warning shot next turn to get the plunder. And we're pretty golden. Like after next turn, it's gonna be three out of five. Uh, and we could pretty easily level her up before turn six. It's time. All right, that's fine with us. Yeah. Let's do this. Yep. He swings to get an axe here, which is okay with us. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We, we could probably just swing with the Butcher. And he actually trades, which is... There's no way, why would you trade this? Wait, I don't, I don't understand. If you... What? Why? Okay. So he wants to prevent my Sedge level. Pretty bad, I guess. I mean, it's still gonna level. We have a lot of ways to level it, but okay. We're gonna just take the Grifter here. We will almost always hit Allegiance. If we don't hit Allegiance, then 
Unfork, man. Unfork. It's like 1 in 16 that we don't hit on YouTube. 1 in 16. Um, this guy is probably wants to spend his mana. Oh, oh, he had a second dream in. Alright. Still doesn't make sense, because why would you not ruin death there? What? I don't. I don't understand this guy. We're gonna take a grifter. Ooh, transfusion. Interesting. This is an aggro deck, so I might save part. You might have some like, people want to help you with, right? So you could probably just take the warning shot. Do you want the burst speed one damage or do we want the possibility of killing a demon? We could just take the warning shot for now. And then yeah, we're good. I'll take the ping. Alright. So he burns a card. If he swings, I'll just let it through. I really do not care about this thing. We do have Jack and then Transfusion. So we could just throw our Jack down and we will be able to parlay the spider. What? Is he gonna like use three axes? Bro! Alright, if he uses three axes, we, we have the transfusion. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I still don't understand why I only use this deck. Does he have like retreat recall? Oh, he has his own transfusion. Okay. And then he uses one axe. Now we're cooking. Can I force him to use the other axes with my own transfusion? Or I guess it's transfusion. I mean, I really don't mind. Oh shit, he's going in. Oh, oh, he gave up an axe. Nice. And, and then we still get the parlay on the spider, which is cool. It's cool, cool. Yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good. He runs elixir. All right, dude. You you got it. You got it. You got the kill. And he got the favorite level, but I do not care about the favorite level one bit. Not one bit, actually. Okay, so he got the sedge level, which is nice. Alright, let's go ahead and kill the Draven. I wanna kill it now. He might axe, so he gets two axes before his Draven dies, which I wouldn't mind. I could warning shot that, but I, don't, I really don't mind if he does that. Ah, uh, yes. Said you want you. That's what feels good. He has four cards left in hand. We have level sedge on board. We only have three, but like, I don't know. Right? Well, he might. Oh, I think if I wording shot, he's just gonna act. So there's no point. No point. We save the wording shot for when it actually matters. You just give him the two axes. Uh, I think that was a waste of like, a might on his part. Uh, Alright, we could just play, our, play out our hand, honestly. Let's take the monkey idol here. I can just time phase. I really don't care. I really don't. Get bloody, get paid. Get the... Vulnerable on battering ram. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Very nice, very nice. Open wide, sugar. So I go like so. I should have dragged that first actually. Just in case the elusive attack does go through for some reason. Uh, 
Okay. I mean, the Elise is gonna get damage. We do have Fury to potentially end the game here. But I don't think there's a reason to take that risk. I don't know what his deck is. He could be running like rant weird stuff, you know? No point, no point. Ah, Kato. Okay, we probably could have ended the game there. But again, I don't know what he's running, right? No reason to take a risk there. We, I mean, it's fine. We just gangplank and then we, we, uh, we warning shot, right? Uh, we're kind of throwing away a keg, but it shouldn't, the kick shouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah, so... We're, we're clearly gonna warning shot here, like... There's... Actually, do we warning shot? He has like 10,000 right? Like... Oh, oh, is he not swinging? With everything? Oh, okay. Like, if he just tanked this, can he do anything? Like, what if he blocks? Make it worth my while. I mean... I'm kind of fine take, taking this block here because if he acts is, or if he does something, yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, we sh this should be like the end of the game. Uh, right. And um, yeah, we have the keg, we have the wording shot. <laughs> And we got the win. On to the next game. Alright, we're up against Ash Shijuani. Oh, it's Navi. Cool. Um, we could keep the parlay. Probably keep Gangplank in hand. Again, I want something to attack with for my thing, so... We're actually gonna mulligan that for that. Alright, that's fine. Oh. I wonder if we take the pass here. No, probably. We probably take the parlay stuff. Probably. Oh, we can warning shot butcher now. God damn it. Okay, let's take a higher gun. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Take a higher gun. Ashajuani. Ashajuani. Ah, oh, so weird. They're not weird, but like playing this post path. Alright, so he takes an archer. That's fine. I'm gonna take a warding shot, Butcher. Double Butcher. Leaping into action. Not my first gun fight. Okay, so we could just trade these. There's plenty of killing. And we take the Butcher here, and we're good. Nice. So, this should go through. Should. Please, please, please go through, I believe. Please, please, please. Uh, he, he probably only has Brittle to stop it. Maybe Culling, but I don't, I don't think he was Culling the Butcher. Like that. That, that's just me, right? So we could take um, a nice monkey really pistol. Nice Pretty good monkey genius here. Uh, where is the Sejuani? Where is the Sejuani? This deck is like have pretty reliant on Sej, to be honest. We could take a monkey idol. Okay, that's fine. 
He's probably gonna swing. We're gonna block with the powder monkey. Winter, take you. We're still gonna block with the powder monkey. Uh, this is gonna be rough though. Like we could block with, like something like that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a that's a bummy. Okay, our hand is awkward. Could take the swing here. Yeah, we can't really deal with these without a Cedric Gangplank. Maybe I should have kept the Gangplank. Yeah, we don't have cards to play. Okay, there's the Gangplank. The right God. Okay. So let's pass here. We do want to play Gangplank. Oh boy. He has a lot of cards to be assessed. This is looking pretty rough. So we block here, we block here. What is the T running? Is there any like buffs that can kill me? Yeah, get the block here. I mean, this is the best we can do, so yeah. Oh, troll chat. Alright, so he keeps the Ash alive, but he lives. We live to play the Gangplank, and we have a Rex Ray next turn, which sadly won't do much because he's probably going to replenish before with all the cards he Probably. Also my Gangplank is probably not going to do as much as I would like. Okay. So let's just take the, the open swing here. Spread your fire! And see what he does. Does he have like a okay, calling strike on the barrel? I see, I see. So we're gonna wreck his board. This if, if we win, uh, that'd be something. Alright, so you do get get yeah, at least one on the ash, which is what we needed. And if he has another ash. That's kind of like an oh well for us, honestly. We did force a culling check on the barrel, which is pretty huge. I guess it's not that huge, because we don't have a lot of stuff to culling check anymore. Okay. So we do draw another Rex, which is actually useless. <laughs> what? Why did I draw triple Rex in this game? Oh, uh, okay. That's in there. Just draw better. Um, what's he playing here? Okay, I wonder if he's running the front. Probably not. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, we're dead, aren't we? Are we? Yeah, because he just drags his the shit. Um, actually, we could see if he draw harsh wind. Right? Yeah, you don't want to cross. No harsh wind. Thank you, game. All right, let's get to the next game. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, we're up against could this powerful thing that Annalise in. I did run into earlier playing this deck. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do, but you well just mulligan like so. Actually, monkey idol is not bad, is it? We weren't shot, and we I, I want some some of these. So. Uh, butcher would be the nuts. Okay. I don't even know if you take this. Now we take it. Yeah, we take it. We take the level up trigger. Uh, give me. Okay. So we could monkey business, but like that's probably not worth it. So we could take the monkey business here. 
Uh, maybe we should have monkey business because we we get an attack in, right? Makes sense. We we get like two more damage if you didn't have anything. Okay, so you palm. Yeah, it's fine. I think baiting out the palm is good. So this would have been nice earlier, but it's okay. It it came like at a okay time. Alright, let's let's just open, open attack, sure. get the one damage, and I get the the thunder. Okay, zenith blade. Alright, let's see what we get. I'm not greedy, my friends though. Ooh, we got a pale cascade. It's actually really easy for us to trigger pale cascade because we have warning shots. So we could take a pale cascade here if we want. I'm just gonna take a make it rain actually. It triggers the thunder and it kills the unit. Alright, so he does take a bash and we can take the pale cascade here. I kind of wanna save this as a surprise trigger. But it's fine. You see, we're just going to uh, gangplank here. Because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work yeah. shot double the gangplank and open attack. Even if we draw said that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so he takes the second youth blade. And we will take this. Ooh, wait. Oh, we do have Pale Cascade ever do. I'll take my time. I am reborn of salt and pride. And we get the level gang plank. Amazing. Get them all. You cannot okay. win. Ooh, he has a palm. That's a pretty good palm, babe. Yeah, sure. I think what we're gonna do now... We have 7 mod. We're just gonna take a drift here. Uh, it gives us some warding shots. Set up for Rex in like 2 turns. Or if we need to trigger the Nightfall for Pale Cascade. Later down the line. Still don't know why this deck is a thing. I only know Tarek Mason. I don't think that deck is very strong though. So, oh, okay, we have Sage on top of our deck. Okay, we have Sage on top of our deck. Yeah. Uh, when, if you guys ever don't properly do this deck, you have Sage on top of deck. It is really good info. To know actually. So we will take the set you want here because I don't see it's not. Fight for your lives. Again we have like we have the warning shot if we need to trick your set effect. This should be game if I can do with both of them on board. The dragon himself. We just pass. He knows we he knows we have a wording shot from Grifter. He knows. Her flowers bring the moonlight. Oh, okay. So he's giving Leeson the challenger and the barrier. your spirit. Uh huh. I have no reason to do anything about this. At all, actually. Oh, guiding touch. Okay, so he has the barrier, and he has to level up. The dragon spirit awakens. We get some wording shot. He has zero mana. Where? I mean, why is he pulling the gangplank? It does. Does this still recall? Can he strike me with zero attack? The dragon lives. Can he actually? I'll take my time. <laughs> you can't strike me. 
Oh. Wait, what? Show them our team. Wait, the game's buggy. Leave no survivors. Wait, what? I want to kill it though. Wait. Take it up with my Wait, how is this unit already blocked? This is a bug. I pretty sure it's a bug. Okay. Whatever. Wow, it actually doesn't work in the crossfire. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we don't have to take that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can just open and open swing chill. Spread your fire. Yeah, we're good. Cannot hold us down. We have Rex coming down. We don't have another warning shot, but this. This is gonna trigger it. And if that doesn't trigger it, this is gonna trigger it. So we're just good. Conflict is all in the mind. Like, you might not die, but we have Rex, so. Uh, so he's getting the barrier on his lead. I will not hold back. But again. We're we're still good. Like the Lee is effectively dead. Effectively dead. I don't- I don't see how Lee, the Lee survives this. Oh, okay. So, that should be game. I don't know what you could have to live. Guiding touch? That doesn't work, right? Does it? Oh, no, it doesn't. Alright, so I, that's gonna be game for you. Uh... God, those cannonballs are loud. Alright, we're going ahead and play one more game. Hey guys, uh, sorry, you're gonna have time to record a fourth game. Uh, I got busy, but try to upload more content more often. So, yeah, look forward to that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.